Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to loop presentation here in Canva. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Canva, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Looping a presentation in Canva it's a simple process that allows your slides to play continuously, making it perfect for displays at events, exhibitions, or social media presentations. Now, once you are logged into your account, I want you to click on the existing project or design that you're working with. If you haven't already, just click on the template section. Click the print products, video, marketing, and a lot more. If you click on video, these are going to be some of your options. You can choose from category like Facebook, Messages, YouTube, and a lot more. But if you want, you can type in here. You can search thousands of templates and type in presentation. Okay, so see what we got here. What will happen is it would be forwarded here. I wanted to use this one right here. Okay. Customize this template right here. Okay, so this one, I'm going to delete some of the pages that I don't want it. I'm going to retain a uh, one page for it. I, I just wanted a one page. All right, so this one right here. Now, I'm going to put in a different video at the back. Say, for example, this one, the uh, fire. I'm going to put in like on the uh, background, all right? Now, for me to be able to loop this whole presentation, all I have to do, you see this playback right here? It says play on repeat, okay? If you do that, I'm going to make it a little bit slower. I want you to click on the percent button. Click on percent to get the full screen, all right? And that would lead you to the presentation looping to preview that all right as you can see a well-designed looping presentation can create a visually appealing display that captures the audience's attention it allows you to adjust the duration of each slide making it suitable for different time slots or audience attention spans once you're happy with that you can now basically click this on the share button if you want to share this to your team members you might want to click on the copy link and if you want to download this just click on download you can use pdf standard or mp4 in this case thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video